Ares client just got updated to Minecraft 1.20. Ares client just got updated to Minecraft. Ares client just got updated to Minecraft 1.20.40. So today I'm going to show you exactly how you can download it as well as how you can use it. Why well, did you want to head over to their official website, which is going to be linked in the description together with my Discord server, and I'd greatly appreciate it if you could join that. Anyways, you want to click on this blue download button over here, and it is going to prompt you to actually make an account. So you want to switch to this register tab over here, and fill in everything, and then register. Once you've registered, you'll need to verify with a code, and then you should be good. You can open up this sidebar here and go back to this home page, where you can then successfully download the client. Now as you can see, I've got it in my download, so you can just double click on that, and as you can see, my antivirus is actually going to kick in. It should be completely safe to use, and you can click on this more info here, and then run it anyways. That's going to open up this ridiculously large page, but once you've got Minecraft opened, which as you can see I have, you can click on inject. Now depending on your device as well as your operating system, it might not actually work. Maybe nothing will happen. And if that is the case, then I will link a fix video for that, which is really, really simple down in the description. So for the ones of you who don't have that issue, um, then you should just be able to click on inject. And then as you can see, this box is going to pop up and it is going to inject itself into Minecraft. If you close this run box, then watch out because uh, the actual client itself is also going to entirely close once again if nothing happens once you click inject and you have made sure that you are on version 1.20.40 then there is a fix tutorial right down in the description for you anyways if you've completed that fix tutorial you should be right about here anyways and then um, this should be opened up right now you want to click on this keybind button right over here and you want to type in any key you want for example the F key that means that now I will use the key F to open and close m this little box here with which I can select the hacks so I can press F to close that and then I'll just head into a random world and show you exactly how it works quick intermission if you like stuff like this and if you want to see stuff like this more often or appreciate me showing this to you then I'd greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe thank you very much so as you can see, I'm in the world, and I can press the F key because I set that as my keybind to open this up. Now, of course, you can set any key that you want. Over here, you can scroll in this little box where you can, uh, you know, customize things about the client. For example, the blur strength. Um, and now you, I do recommend probably opening this up a little bit further so you can at least see things a little more clearly. Um, that is definitely recommended. Anyways, here you'll basically be able to find different modules. On the very left side, you can choose between combat, movement, player, visuals, world, or other. And then in this middle bit over here, um, there's going to be all the different hacks to do with this tab that you have selected. For each of these um, different options, you'll be able to set a keybind as well as actually um, be able to customize some of them a little bit. Now, if you want to actually uninject the client from Minecraft or just remove it entirely, then you can head to the other tab to this uninject over here and then click on enable right there. What that's going to do is that's just going to remove the client from Minecraft and then to get it again you just want to re-inject it like we just did. Um, anyways as you can see you can basically customize almost all of these as well as set a keybind which for Ares client is something that I highly recommend. Anyways if you're looking for something specific then as you can see you can search modules at the top right over here. It's going to tell you um, what section it's in and the hack itself as well. Anyways, most of these things should be pretty self-explanatory. And if you've used anything like this before, then you should definitely be able to figure it out. If you have any questions, though, please feel free to leave those down in the comments below. And for right now, thank you ever so much for watching. And I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.